guys. Thank you for coming out. Um, thank you for being a good crowd and not heckling. Uh, I bring that up because I am terrible at dealing with hecklers. Uh, like, really bad. Like, mainly because of the things that they say are pretty mean. Uh, I don't know how to respond. So, I went online to try and get some tips to see if I could, you know, get better at it. And I found this website called iHollaback.org. <laughs> Which is a website for women who are verbally harassed on the street by men's catcalls. <laughs> and I navigated over to their resources page, and I think I found a few things that might work. Um, so, just for right now, if somebody could just heckle me. Do not speak to me like that! <laughs> Hell empowering. <laughs> Alright, if I could just get one more. Nice. Do not comment on my body. That is harassment. <laughs> <laughs> Shut him down. <laughs> um, according to I Holla Back, the next step is to bring pepper spray on stage with me. <laughs> Which just sounds like an awesome idea. Uh, you don't even have to respond. You're like, Psst. oh my god, I'm sorry to everybody who isn't that guy. I'm so sorry. Uh, if you have skeletons in your closet, and those skeletons come out of the closet, you have gay skeletons in your closet. <laughs> a good friend of mine uh, came out a few years ago, and what's especially interesting about him is he is a gay white rapper. <laughs> he's from Central PA though, which is a shame. I wish he was from Compton, because he'd be the first rapper from Compton who's not straight out of Compton. <laughs> Just like play on his album, Get out of Compton! Crazy motherfucker named Francis! <laughs> I work for a, a fashion company, so a lot of my coworkers are gay, and I was really happy uh, for my one coworker. A few months ago, him and his husband, they got a surrogate to have their baby, but they recently changed their minds, and now they're making her get an abortion. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with you. Gay marriage is the worst. <laughs> um, I imagine people with dyslexia don't eat cumcubers. <laughs> That's not appetizing. Uh, so I tell jokes. I also do impressions. Uh, I'm going to do an impression for you right now. This is uh, my impression of an octopus walking down the street. Okay? This is an octopus walking down the street. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> cigarette. <laughs> it's from a different generation. The alphabet is old. It's not going to quit now. Um, I was listening to the radio uh, last week, and I wonder if rapper uh, DMX ever learned sign language to better communicate with this obviously deaf Rough Rider posse. <laughs> like the Rough Riders in the back. DMX turns around, stop, drop, <laughs> shut him down, open up, shut. <laughs> <laughs> and in their heads, the Rough Riders are like, oh no, that is how us Rough Riders roll. <laughs> Thank you, DMX. <laughs> when I was originally learning the sign language for that joke, uh, I was going to... I don't know sign language, I just know DMX themed sign language. I get very excited when I hear that song. Um, but when I was learning the sign language for that joke, I was originally going to do a verse, but I got as far as N-word. I'm like, I'll just stick with the chorus. <laughs> um, 
I don't think the $300 fine on the curb your dog sign strikes enough fear into the hearts of dog owners. So I've modified the sign at the end of my street so it reads, curb your dog, or else we're gonna curb your dog. <laughs> if they've seen American History X, they will pick that shit up. <laughs> I had a dog myself, um, and uh, I took him to the vet recently to get him neutered. And I have to tell you about my vet. He is so old, and he's got this really thick German accent. It's crazy. I can't believe my veterinarian is an actual veteran Aryan. <laughs> <laughs> He's the only vet around that specializes in wasps. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> 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 <laughs>